right hi friends this is shanmuk i am a sql db trainer so in this video i'll show you how to restore uh, backups okay how to restore a uh, backups in sql server so first i'll show you how to restore all backups at a time and then i'll show you how to restore individual backups okay so listen carefully first of all we have to restore the full backup file and then recent differential backup file we have to restore then finally after differential backup whatever log backups are there we have to restore all the log backups okay full backup and the recent differential backup and after differential backup whatever log backups are there we have to restore all the log backups or if you want to skip differential backup you can restore full backup after full backup whatever log backups are there you have to restore all the log backups okay so let me restore right click on the databases you can see restore database go to device go to browser option uh, select add button here you can select all the backups at a time guys okay first full backup differential backup log backup so i'm using my cursor selecting all backups at a time full differential and log backup click ok so this is my full differential and log backup guys and as you are restoring all the backups at a time okay uh, so uh, let me go to the file space here you have to select this option relocate all files and folders this is a okay uh, safe side it is better to select this option okay uh, so it's not an issue if even though if you select it will be good for the safe side it is always better to select this option relocate files and folders especially if you are restoring in different servers okay then it is better to you have to select this option delegate files and folders okay go to options so here uncheck this tail log backup as there are no other backups to restore i am using restore with with recovery if any other backups are there i have to select restore with no recovery and also uh, we have only three backups right full differential and log so i am using restore with recovery and i am just clicking okay so this time you can see three times 100 percent here one is your full backup second one is your differential backup third one is your log backup okay now this is preparing a restore plan once restore plan is completed so it will start restoring the database guys okay we can see the status here uh, right and it is throwing some error okay got you so why it is throwing error i'll show you guys already the same files are there okay so the issue is exclude uh, you could not obtain the database because in, it is in use okay chalo it is trying to override the existing database that is the main challenge so what we can do i will restore the database with a different name okay so sql uh, adventure works 2017 cc right so what i can do here adventure works 2017 uh, uh, i am just uh, uh, mentioning underscore rest means restore okay I'm just changing the name. Why? Because the database is already there. So that's why it is throwing the error. So go to file space this time and make sure <coughs> uh, here you can see rest. Okay. You can see the file name says rest. Here you can see rest for data file. You don't see any rest for log file. So let me add underscore rest. Okay. Why? This is very important, guys. Otherwise, in this path already this log file is there if you don't rename it as per your current database name your restoration will be failed okay let me go to the file space this is common right yeah options now you can select you can click ok this time it is going to restore okay you can see restoration is started you can see the status here okay so once restoration is completed <clears throat> differential backup will be restored another 100 percent next log backup will be restored another 100 percent okay now you can see the success message and you can click okay right and now you can see the database is restored with the underscore rest okay this is how we can restore all the backups at a time chalo if we want to restore one by one backup first we have to restore full backup then differential backup then log backup that that also i'm going to show you restore database device browse add <clears throat> first i'll restore full backup double click okay right i'm going to restore this database as uh, a rest demo okay restore demo right go to file space relocate files and folders expand this window and check it restore as okay we which is creating with the latest file name or not rest demo you can see for data files for log file it's not showing anything so let me add rest demo for the log file as well and options and restore as discussed earlier <clears throat> i have other backups to restore so always i have to restore with no recovery why because i have differential backup is there to restore log backup is there to restore until final backup you have to restore all the backups with no recovery right i am just clicking okay 
now database restoration will be started then you can see here the percentage once this is done i'll show you um, the differential backup restore on the same database then you can see you can see the database is in restoring state why because we have restored with no recovery so it won't be accessible okay it will be in restoring state only now let's restore the differential backup as well again go and check tasks restore database okay right click tasks restore database select database then device then browse then add then select differential backup and click ok and this time no need to choose anything you can simply only one thing that you have to choose is restore with no recovery and uncheck this option okay right this is how you can restore the differential backup done now finally you have to restore the log backup this time you can use restore with the <coughs> recovery guys this is the final log backup right transaction log i want to restore from device browse okay add <coughs> where is the log backup this is my log backup click ok and select this restore option restore check you have to select and go to option space here you can see restore with recovery restore with no recovery so restore with standby so you can choose restore with recovery why because this is the final log backup so just click ok guys and this is how you can restore and now the database will be online and it will be accessible guys okay so this is how you can access the particular database and all you can see all the tables and all will be there what are tables are there all those tables will be there guys okay this is how you can restore the database uh, using gui guys thank you for watching the video